Crime is causing a setback for two school districts in Green Country. Catalytic converters were stolen from multiple vehicles belonging to Drumride and Coweta schools. Marcia Pizarro joins us from Coweta's bus barn with how they're coping now that the first day of school is only six days away. Sierra. This is an added stressor. I'm told the thief kicked the gate in and crawled right under. The Coweta School District's only regret is not having surveillance cameras. Six vehicles in this bus barn were targeted. It cost the school district a lot of money. The district has insurance, but there's still a hefty $10,000 cost it has to pick up. So close to school starting, I mean, uh, you know, we're just hoping we can get them all repaired by the time school starts because it delivers our food to all of our different schools. Coweta Public Schools was hit a week ago. This week, the school's neighbor was also hit. It runs okay, but it runs pretty loud. Community Baptist Coweta's camera caught someone stealing its van's catalytic converter in no more than three minutes. So to, my heart really breaks for him because uh, truthfully, this is a very giving church. If, if anybody's in need, we would love to assist you. Pastor Adam Mask handed this video over to police. Area investigators are sounding the alarm. They're working together to get a handle on catalytic converter crime. Coweta Police Chief Michael Bell says he learned today that the Oklahoma Information Fusion Center might be able to help. They have the technology that could identify this vehicle and read a plate from it. We don't have that capability, so it's kind of nice that we have an agency here in the state of Oklahoma that will help us do that. Over in Drumright, the public school district there has damaged costs that go over $40,000 because two of its buses were targeted and a supply shortage is delaying repairs. Well, this is a nationwide problem, says Coweta Chief Michael Bell. He says it's even caught the attention of the FBI. In Coweta, I'm Sierra Pizarro, 2 News, Oklahoma.